Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to another one of my installation tutorials. In this part, I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of MISCraft, version 0.9.2.01, for Minecraft 1.3.2. It's just released a few days ago, and uh, it's pretty awesome, so I figured I'm going to show you guys how to install it. So, as with my last installation tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it two different ways. One, with, you know, the usual way of just using a vanilla Minecraft 1.3.2, going into the jar file, putting everything in there, being all good. And then two, using MultiMC, a very awesome program. And now, come to think of it, I'm going to show you how to install it three different ways. One with that way, one with the MultiMC way, and one with the Magic Launcher way. Magic Launcher, again really awesome program that you should try out and I'll show you a little bit about when I show you how to install it. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install it for just the regular way. What you're going to need is you're going to need Minecraft Forge. It's going to be the universal whatever it is. Um, I believe the latest version is 4.0.0.248. Um, you need at least .247 for Mistcraft. Um, but it usually never hurts to use the latest version. So what you're going to do is you're going to find your .minecraft. If you don't have a Minecraft shortcut like mine, you go ahead and type, or you go to your start menu and you type app percent app data app data percent press enter and it brings you to your roaming folder. In which case you can find your .minecraft folder. Now for this you are going to need a vanilla 1.3.2 uh, .minecraft. I have that right there. I just copied it into there before I started the recording. You're going to go into your bin, you're going to right click on Minecraft, and you're going to need WinRAR for this, or some type of archiving program like 7-Zip, that works as well. You're going to click open with WinRAR Archiver. Anyone else see my mouse, mouse glitching out? I think that's a problem with Camtasia. Hmm. You're going to click on this meta inf folder, and you're going to delete it. Delete all of it. Alright, once you're finished that, you're going to go ahead and I'm just going to drag that to the side so that I can get to everything else. I'm going to open up the Minecraft Forge, and I'm also going to open up Miscraft. Close. Alright, awesome. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take Minecraft Forge, I have it right here. You're going to highlight everything in it, so you can see that there's a lot of stuff, so you want to make sure that you have everything. Alrighty. And then you're going to click, and you're going to drag it into your Minecraft.jar. It's going to be loading, you can click OK, it's going to do all that fun stuff, and there you go, you have Minecraft Forge installed. Now you can go ahead and exit out of all this stuff, go into your Minecraft and make sure that everything is installed correctly. Or, if you're fairly certain that you installed it correctly, you can go ahead and just go to the Miscraft and you can go ahead and install this without exiting out. So with Miscraft, you actually have to install it to the jar file. Here, you can't just place it into a folder your .minecraft. You highlight everything, click and drag right into your minecraft.jar. Pretty simple. And it's going to do all that. Once it's finished, you can exit out of everything. Go into Minecraft. I have a lot of stuff open, don't I? I'm uploading a video, so... Alright, you're going to log in. And I'm just going to show you that everything works well. There's Forge setting everything up for you. It's getting late. It's going to load. And there we go. It is loaded. If we go ahead and check out the mods that we have, we have Forge Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge, of course. But we also have Mistcraft, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new world. It's going to be creative. That way I can use the cheats. It's going to do all that fun stuff. And once it loads, I'll just go into the creative menu and show you that everything is in there. Scroll down and eventually we should find something this craft related. There we go. Oh no. There we go. We have a notebook, the writing desk, link book, all that fun stuff. So, pretty pretty awesome. I dropped it. All right, come on. Notebook. There we go. See? Place it down. There we go. I didn't have enough room to place it down. Notebook. See? How awesome is that? I placed it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Dirt. 
Alright, so everything works. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to install this using the MultiMC way. Double click on MultiMC and, you know, click on the EXE. You can, of course, create a shortcut to your desktop or whatever you would want. Hey, look, there's a new update. I'm going to hold off on it and I'll do that later. Um, but it should be the same. It should just be a few bug fixes that they have in the update. You're going to click on Add New Instance. And then you're going to just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Mist Craft. You see my not enough items there. You're going to right click on it and you're going to go to Edit Mods. I'm going to exit out of that. And right here where we have our mods, we're going to click on Minecraft Forge and Mist Craft and we're going to click and drag them into the Jar Mods thing. Now you can see that they're not going to, they're not ordered right. All right. When you're installing the jar mods, they have to be ordered in a certain way. So you want to make sure that Minecraft Forge is first. There we go. So you can just, you know, simply click and drag it. Just make sure that Minecraft Forge is up top. You're going to close out of that, and then we can go ahead and click on play and do all that fun stuff. It's going to log in, download packages, install the mods, launch it, and I'll be back with the new world. Or I guess I'll just show you that everything works. That way you don't think that I'm lying to you. Yeah, the Mojang screen. And there we go. We have it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create another world. Creative. That's cool. It's going to be building the terrain. And then once it launches, we can go into the creative menu. Go to search items. Go all the way down. And there we go. We have notebook, writing desk. All that fun stuff. Alright. So now that I showed you that that works, we're going to quit the game. You should close out as well. Exit out. And now I'm going to show you how to install it using the Magic Launcher. I don't believe that this needs to be in a folder. But go ahead and open up the Magic Launcher and you can see all this fun stuff. I might do a spotlight on this later, but right now I'm just going to show you how to install the mods. You're going to go ahead and go to Setup. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you have a vanilla Minecraft in your Minecraft.jar. So I'm going to go ahead and just going to delete that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself a vanilla copy of Minecraft. I have a lot of backups. I like backups. And yes, my desktop is a mess. I apologize. I'm going to go back into Magic Launcher. I'm actually just going to click and drag it over there because we don't need a folder. There we go. Alright, you're going to double click on Magic Launcher. We're going to go to Setup. We're going to create a new configuration. And we're going to call this one Mistcraft. And say OK. You can see that it has the 1.3.2 Minecraft.jar, unmodified, all vanilla, all that stuff. And you're simply just going to go and you're going to add some mods. So let's see if I could find my desktop real quick. Desktop. There we go. And we can see that we have Minecraft Forge and Mistcraft. We're going to open both of those. And of course, we're going to make sure that Minecraft Forge is up top. That has an error. I don't know why. But we're going to say OK and we're going to log in and see how it works. I haven't tested it with the Magic Launcher yet, so I apologize. There we go, we got the Minecraft screen. We're going to go to mods and we can see that we have Mistcraft installed. That is awesome. We're going to go to single player, create new world, creative, just so I can show you that everything does work. Come on. It takes a while. We are in a new world. I'm going to go into the creative inventory. We're going to scroll all the way down and we should see some items. That's a sheep. See? Right in the desk. Everything works. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Awesome. So now that we see that that works, there you go. So choose whichever way best fits your needs, whichever way you like most. I personally like the vanilla installation. Oops, sorry, I hit a whole bunch of cans on my desk. Uh, but I personally like just the regular installation, but, you know, Multi-MC and Magic Launcher makes it very easy to... Um, just install mods in general. So, 
whichever way you like. If you have a problem with installing these mods, please don't just leave a comment saying it doesn't work. That doesn't help me any, and it really doesn't help you any. What you should do is you should go ahead and look in the description of the video, and in that description you will find a link to a video that I made of how to send an error report. It's going to be slightly different depending on which way you use. If you use the MultiMC way, it actually has a built-in error report. Or sorry, no, it doesn't. Um, but if you use the MultiMC way, an easy way to do that is not click on random things. Come here. We're going to click on View Folder on one of your instances, and that's going to take you to the MultiMC um, folder if you don't already have it in a folder. And uh, what you can do is you can go to your instance. Whichever instance you use, you go to the .minecraft and the forge mod loader client right there. That is the error report if there was an error. All right, so just follow the directions in the link of the video. All right. Um, as for the magic launcher, it has a built-in thing that you can find pretty easily in under the setup when you're setting everything up. So just some quick notes because I no I. It's not that just that I don't want to get messages saying that it doesn't work, but I want you guys to be helped as much as you can. Um, that way you can get this mod working and you can play around because it is an amazing mod. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, go ahead and leave a like, favorite it if you want to, subscribe if you had, and that way you don't miss any more of these videos. So again, this has been Drawing at 1313, and I will see you all in the next video.